Welcome back to Fabulous Studio 9, everybody. Bob back today, and we are going to go over the very basic butchery technique of chicken fabrication. We are going to French the wing bone, turn the breast into what we call a statler or an airline breast. We're going to separate the leg and thighs from the carcass. Quick quiz, what does an oyster have to do with a chicken? We're going to learn about that in just a moment. Okay, here we are. We've got our whole chicken right here. Just pulled it out from the fridge. But before we start this, I want to go over a couple of brief things about sanitation. I have a tray on ice right here to keep everything cold. I have some paper towels, my side towel right here to keep my station clean. I have washed and sanitized my hands, so we're good to go there. And remember, when you're working in the kitchen, you want to pull out only as many chickens as you can process in a short amount of time. Estimate about 20 minutes. Any longer than that, and then the pieces of the chicken that you've got butchered uh, are going to sit in the temperature danger zone too long. So better to pull out a few birds, butcher them, put them away, and grab more and pull them out and keep the ones that you're not working on under refrigeration then pull out too many and have them sitting in the temperature danger zone for too long yep pull the bird off right here just give it a quick towel dry it's going to make things easier to clean there we go and you'll notice we've got our two legs right here, our breasts, and our two wings. Now the way that I go about butchering chickens is I'm going to go for the wings first. I'm going to take the breasts off after that. And then I take the legs off. A lot of chefs may take the legs off after they take off the wings. I find the legs lend a little bit more stability to the carcass so that it makes it uh, easier to take the breasts off. If I took the legs off first, then this would rock around and I might not be able to uh, be as effective and uh, as safe taking off the breasts at the last bit. So we'll start right here. If you notice, I've got the wing and this is the humerus, this is the top of the wing bone and there's a, a nice meaty section right here, it's a little bit lean right there. So I'll take my paring, my boning knife, I'll go straight through the flesh and I'm going to make a circle cut all the way around and with the back of my knife scrape that flesh up towards the joint, just like this. And then I can pop that right off. And sometimes that goes onto my tray. Sometimes there's a little bit of cartilage left over there. And you can peel that off or pick that off with your knife once you're finished. And do that again. You can see the, the wing right here. There's a little bit of that V shape with the meat right there. So I'm going to insert my boning knife right Got two, what's called Frenched bones right here. We call this a when this comes off, it'll either be a statler or an airline breast, if you will. Now we're going to go after the breast right here. Now there's a bone that runs straight down the middle. This is the keel bone, and we want to come down either side of the keel bone and peel the breasts away off of the the keel and the rib cage. We're going to first, before we cut into the flesh, we first want to identify where that keel is right there and we're going to cut the skin right there just lightly through the flesh now I've got that exposed right there you can feel the keel so with the tip of my knife I'm going to begin to separate separate that flesh from the bone just like that Use my fingers to get in there. And just the tip of my knife, working that meat off of the rib cage. So we're back at it, pulling that breast away, making small incisions, following that cage all the way down. Now, when we get to the back here, there's a little tendon right there, just above the last joint. We're going to loosen that up 
and that tendon right there is just above the last joint. So we'll cut straight through that joint and that will release the top part of the wing bone that we previously frenched. Now we've got the breast about to come off, but we want to make sure that we have as much skin covering the breast as we can. So we'll come out here and we'll pull that leg out. And you can see this little line of fat right there. We're going to cut right on that fat and that will give us that will give us plenty of skin to keep our chicken covered and just free up that breast. We'll put that on our ice tray and we'll do the other side. Free up that skin on this side just like that. And then we'll come to the keel, come straight back, hit that wishbone. And before when I came down the wishbone was actually broken in this bird, so that came off with the breast when I was able to separate it this time. Just using the tip of my knife all the way down to get to that tendon right here, right there, straight through, cut that joint. And now we can. go. There we go. That's the breast. Now let's go after these two legs. So before we start the legs, I want to show you a little something right here. You can see these two knobs of meat right there. Those are the oysters. See, I told you we'd back to the oyster. The oyster right there of the meat. And that is a little nugget that we want to get a hold of when we butcher out the leg thigh, the thigh, the leg, and when we come through we're going to scoop out that little nugget of meat right there. On this side, if you'll notice, the carcass of the bird, there is a bone that runs right there. And what we want to do is with the tip bar knife we're going to cut underneath that bone, separate the thigh meat from the carcass, and then we're going to pop out this joint the thigh joint from the carcass. So cut underneath that bone, just like that. We'll pop that out, see, just like that. And we're gonna follow the carcass all the way to that joint. Now right when you get to the joint, that's where that little oyster nugget of meat comes in. So instead of cutting straight across, we're gonna angle our knife down and we're gonna scoop out that little oyster. So, with the tip of our knife, just like that, scoop, scoop, scoop. And we have that little nugget right there, that's the oyster. That goes onto our ice tray as well. Come back here, same thing. Now we've got that bone right there, cut underneath that bone. Thusly, we'll pop that out. Just like that. Now since we're coming in from the opposite side, I'm right-handed and it's easier to go from the back to the, or the front to the back this time. Oysters right there come through. We're going to scoop out that oyster just like that. Come back towards that joint and underneath the carcass. There's the oyster on that one. And we have a cleaned carcass. Very little meat left on there. We'll put that on our tray. We'll cut our wing tips off. That will go onto our tray. We've got our two breasts. There we are. Some chefs might want to separate out the tender from the breast, so that's very easy to do. In fact, it comes off mostly with your fingers. You might have to come through and just do a little, little doctoring just to take that off like that. Tender, cleaned breast. Do it again on this side. Tender. There we are. That goes onto our tray. Tenders go onto our tray. 
Now we've got our leg thighs. And here's a little trick that my friend Chef Tom showed me. If you want to know where the joint from the leg to the thigh is, if you flip it over, there's this line of fat right there. And if you cut straight through that line of fat, you're going to go straight through that joint. Same thing here, line of fat will cut straight through. So, just like that, boom. Separates the leg quite easily. No guessing, no hacking away trying to find it. We'll do it on this side. There we are, straight through. And we've got two lovely thighs right here. Let's say you want to have a boneless chicken thigh. If we apply a little pressure to the meat, cut away, the meat will pull away. And we'll follow that from joint to joint. Here we are. In between, straight up, boom. Boom, boneless thigh, come over here, do it again. Alright, bones are removed. Last thing we want to do here is double check, make sure we don't have any cartilage or bone fragments left. So come through, nip that out. Seems to be good there. All around, there we are. Nip that out. We're good there. Now, let's show you all of the pieces as they are in completed form. We have our two skin on chicken breasts. We have our two chicken tenders. Our two flat chicken wings. Two boneless, skinless thighs, and two legs. I will see you next time. Stay safe.